welcome to the news. My name is Shalama Lawson. A worrisome trend is developing in Zimbabwe where people are killing each other over trivial issues. Our reporter Muchaneda Chimuka speaks to experts to unravel the motive behind such heinous acts. Zimbabwe is now registering a rise in the number of people killed over trivial issues, a sad development that is worrying people from all walks of life. The police say at least seven people are being killed on an average per week over brazen and trivial issues. Recently, a rare man shot and killed his brother in a fight over parking space, while others were killed following disputes over 50 cents change, one dollar debt, a cigarette and meat. Last week, a central intelligence organization operative was killed after he failed to pay $5 take fee fare in Arare. ATV spoke to people worried about this new and disturbing trend. <laughs> Some Christians say high unemployment and poverty are pushing some people to commit murder over trivial issues. Mabasa Arukunetsa, Sagavan, one of the ones upon the moon, which fungus out in Anna Maria Kawan, but was the owner in a Marishoma, Ivo Atomura. Sagasatina fungus out is in the Nataguti, Mona Kwani Sekubatiri, and the Sukuti, Makamba Nagafuro, my industry Kokafura, Vanuaka and Mabasa, Snoko Nakudere, the Pondo Kuevan. Some even blame if spirits for fueling such cases. Van Avan was better than we China. I was with the one who was Tisa, but with one who got security when I went with China. But if I can come to the Jesso, I go anywhere on Mari, to know not the Dambuzi, Iro Roga, Reno Pera, no one go to Tunga Miri, one anywhere on Mari. We only go to where our Satan, who do an hour and was in Gazichi, and was in Gazimari. No Timazone, one or Kaya Shata, or good Satanist, one who knows some way I can put tea, but no Parazan, Saka, never no good Zomari, those are no one in Saganaka. A University of Zimbabwe anthropologist also spoke to ATV and examined some of the factors pushing people to kill others over trivial issues. connection. Cherwa mudoroba uramba wini connection uchi zwa zvirikitika eh no machechi akauya wo abha zviwedzera pamoto ta kuna mitupo eh moto titote mizi mizi ivu it is demonic ah ndiri munoona iwo wozodero uri kudrive mota kumusha kwenyuko vamwe sikuru vasinga vanita chivanhu vasumudza mepo iwe wina mabhaibhira ako unopukanywa uyo kuti hanzi accident no mamwe ma accident munoona wa imepo you know, the Satanism. I mean, you know, in the I quite did a Satanism. In Mepo, the Nangas still wish and what you could need is In 2010, the country recorded 395 major cases compared to 386 cases recorded in 2009. Major cases over trivial issues were rare in the past. There are no easy solutions to such crimes. One only hopes something will be done to stop this sad and shocking trend in Zimbabwe. Muchanita Chimuka reporting for ATV. Two visually impaired men are rising above their disability by doing things that are normally done by people with sight. One is a cricket commentator and the other watches live soccer matches. Robert Tavura met these exceptional men and gives us the following report. Two Zimbabwean men are living tales of the fact that disability is indeed not inability. They put down the walls of stigma and discrimination to bring quality football and cricket commentary to the local and international audience. Dean Duplessis and Peter Dititi are two visually impaired men 
we have surprised many people at soccer and cricket matches. Duplessis' amazing qualities has seen him landing a commentary post with an international sports channel where he uses his acute hearing senses to comment and analyze matches. Many people who follow cricket are not aware of the fact that Dean Duplessis is blind as he eaves drops on other commentators to deliver flawless cricket announcement. My commentary um, really started in 2001 when, uh, when India and the West Indies were touring Zimbabwe and uh, I decided that I was going to, uh, well I was, I, was, I was in the media center and um, I came across a, a good old, who is now a very good friend of mine, Neil Manthorpe, doing a bit of commentary on the internet, so a radio commentary but on the internet. And he actually said to me, you know, um, I've heard about you, why don't you come and join me for what is meant to just be a guest commentary stint. And uh, his producers and bosses really liked what I did. <laughs> and um, as I say, the, the rest is history. The commentary I've done, I guess, has gone to Supersport, but I have no contract with them or, or anything to that effect. Um, but my, my first um, work that I did that was broadcast on Supersport was in 2003, when uh, the West Indies were out here. They played two test matches and 5 1 internationals. Apart from his international assignments, Dean also does commentary for free and for the love of the game for local radio and television channels. Well, thank you very much indeed. Welcome back to Rari Sports Club with the news that uh, the Mashonland Eagles need another 109 runs in the final 10 overs of this 50 over contest between themselves and the Midwest Rhinos. But they're well placed, are the Eagles? They're 192 for the loss of four wickets, for to Matiz one beaten on 72 and he played very nicely. And alongside him, Alton Chikambura, who's just beginning to open up his shoulders. He's on 35 of just 31 deliveries. Um, a few moments ago, he uh, pulled Edward Rainsford in front of Square for a massive six to go alongside two fours. Now this, of course, is in reply to the Rhinos' total of 300 for the loss of six wickets from their 50 overs. Just like Dean, the TT is also another visually impaired man who is passionate about football. He is a pastor with the Zimbabwe Assemblies of God Africa, Zayoja Church. He said his wish is to go on radio and television to do soccer analysis. Pastor Dittit said all visually impaired people should unlock their potential for excellency and fight to attain their dreams in life. Robert Apumane, ATV, Harare, Zimbabwe. The recent opening of an entertainment center at Makoni Shopping Center in Chitungwiza has brought relief to many musicians who were struggling to secure musical instruments for live shows. Muchaneta Chimuka reports. Musicians have welcomed the establishment of the first entertainment center at Makwan Shopping Center in Shungiza by a local businessman. Moonlight Show Center is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments with capacity to accommodate 1,000 people. Some musicians who visited the center commended the project, which has the potential to uplift the lives of many artists. Tuna shutenda kurusa nukuti isu tangati ni challenge for my instruments. Taisa kwanza wa kushiko o kunewa nukuti girao, tichiva pa o, tichiva pa kuri raza tina azo. As ez nezi, nenye ye kutita kwanza kwa na my instrument, it free, it no price. Taungo kwanza kumunu notora, tichino rizi la mafenzi edu. Maa tisi tukusungira maa ili ni mkana ndozo kutineza. 
kachinji kachi exposure kana ku arrange ama shows plus isusu ema band muongo tendi sina equipment oyo kuti chi tikwanise kubatsirikana but i think it's very good because uh, tikwanise kuwana omkano kuti tizikanwe pabasa lidura tinotore kuimba saka isusu we slice tinoti tenda kambo mira pa nenguwa ya pura tine album redora tina runyuwana saka zvichato tibatsira kusterekisa isusu but tange ta kuenda iko kuti tino showcase kuti vana vazive kuti chi tatsoka mustaya according to the senders manager patrick duranyama musicians will be allowed to use their equipment in and around the cape town for free the reason why ita kaita mduru akadai so ne my instrument akadai so amusikuti kuwana mari but the issue is that they are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. So at the end of the day, they are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. This development comes at a time when upcoming musicians are facing critical shortage of instruments. The center will be officially opened by musician Peter Moyo, the son of the late music icon Tongai Moyo. Moyo promised his fans Splendid performance. Every show I'm just seeking to just kind of to produce the best I can. You know, so I'm of course I'm promising the fireworks as well, because every every new stage it's a new thing, my friend. So I'm promising the fireworks. Thank you for joining us. Good night.